Larry Ann and Rudy. Hey guys, it is Larry Ann and Rooney here for another episode of Larry Ann and Rudy After Dark. So, today I was on YouTube going through my notifications and stuff and I got a notification from a girl who just spilled her heart to me on our first slash last Larry and Rudy After Dark video where I talked about how to not have sex before marriage. And she was, you know, telling me some stuff that she's going through. And that made me realize that a lot of people are searching YouTube to find answers about sex because they don't know where else to look. And so I posted about that on Facebook saying, hey, youth pastors, you have a lot of work to do. You really need to be talking about sex because young people, they want to know stuff. And the problem is that they're searching in the world for the answers when that shouldn't be the case. So that inspired me, long story long, <laughs> that inspired me to want to continue the Larry and Rudy After Dark series because I see that it's actually helping people. So today, I just want to talk about the issue with the church not really wanting to talk about sex, which I have found to be an issue for a long time. How about you, Rudy? I, I think, yeah, one of the best places to learn about it would be from church because I would think that they would have some sort of a structure and plus it's, it's church you learn a bunch of different things in life from church you know why wouldn't that be included yeah and i know that some of this might sound redundant and repetitive but redundant and repetitive that was redundant and repetitive <laughs> <laughs> but you know not everyone watches every single one of our videos so we might repeat some stuff that we have repeated in past videos so just bear with us, okay? So I think that it's important for the church to talk about sex because like I said, you know, people are going to be searching for answers regardless of whether or not it's discussed. Why not have a nice little structured thing as Rudy mentioned where you can actually talk about it and mention some biblical principles, you know, really get young people into the idea of waiting until marriage because that's not what the world is teaching them right now you who are watching this that is not what you are learning today you know everyone is making fun of Sierra and Russell Wilson because they want to wait or they think that it's absolutely ridiculous they think it's archaic and that's not the case you know like there are so many people who are waiting too but it's like nobody really wants to talk about it so yeah the people who then are waiting are like oh my gosh i feel so alone maybe i shouldn't wait maybe this is really stupid why am i doing this and then they and then end you up have, in. and then you have the people that didn't wait that regret that they didn't wait mm -hmm. and you know actually those people do talk i've had people actually come up to me and they're just like you know they're like man you know i I think I should have waited, it would have been different. Like, yeah, some of them are actually married now and they've only been with their, their wife since then. And it's just like, you know, I think it would have been a huge difference if I had waited and, you know, I'm now with my wife. Would that be a little bit different? Uh, does it bother her? Is the, Why is it bothering me? It's, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot to handle. So, you know, you don't want to live regretfully. You don't want to say, oh man, I shouldn't have done it because that's what one of the, that's what the girl said to me. She said that she had the idea of waiting, but her boyfriend didn't really have the same sentiment. Like he was like, okay, I guess you can wait, but it's all on you basically. So when she slipped up, he let her slip up and then they ended up doing something i don't know what they did she didn't go into detail she but does she, she regrets doesn't have it. to and yeah, yeah i mean it's not my business i don't really yeah. care but i could tell that she's very regretful and now she has made it even more difficult for herself to wait because now she's not waiting right she's she's, she's abstaining and abst well i mean abstaining and waiting are kind of, what is it called i can't remember the word no when you've had sex already she's being celibate now and there's a difference between waiting slash abstaining and being celibate because you know obviously the difference is you're a virgin <laughs> for one and the other one is you're not a virgin the point is i just wish that you know it was discussed more so that we could just have more open discussions stop making the subject of sex so taboo as long as you're speaking it's, it's about not even only making it like yeah, it, one thing, places are making it a taboo, 
while they're letting other things take more control of it like the media and stuff they're it's almost like they're leaving it up to the media to let you understand what it is and you know they might hit a few points here or there but they're exploiting it in the worst way and it's not the way that we should be learning it yeah and again i mean i, I didn't mention it in this video but rudy and i are christians we believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, just in case you don't know what being a Christian means. <laughs> we live our life that way, and this video is not meant to condemn anyone. So if you feel condemned, I am sorry you feel that way. It's not intentional. This is to help those who search on YouTube for sex before marriage, how not to do it, all that stuff. Because YouTube keep te keeps telling me that people are searching for that. So I feel like we should be making more videos about that. So that's the whole purpose of this series. I feel like we've been up and down, you know. <laughs> There's like no straight path. But I'd love to produce this series every Wednesday night. We'll be posting the video maybe at like 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so that the 8 year olds <laughs> are already sleeping. Even though they're going to see it the next morning. Which is really silly. I know, I know. I know how YouTube works. But, you know, this isn't really for anyone who's under the age of 10. If you haven't hit puberty yet, then this isn't really for you. I know we got a lot of young youngins watching. And we said this at the end of the video. Of what? The age. <laughs> oh! Wow. <laughs> it's fine. So. Yeah. It still needs to be heard. But, seven minutes later, I want you guys to leave in the comment section what you want us to talk about this is basically what the video is about i must have said that like five times already really i think you said it less than five really rudy you were counting no i wasn't so this is my rooney rudy is my baby daddy rudy is my husband okay we got married when i was 20 and rudy was 21. we had sex for the first time after we got married and it was not awkward <laughs> See, that's a common misconception <laughs> that it's really up. Well, I mean, sorry. I can't speak for everyone, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we but I meant to scratch that discussion. I meant to bring that up earlier. One of the articles that you'll find when you Google having sex before marriage or like when you Google regrets of waiting, stuff like that, you'll come across a really popular arc article written by, I think she said she was Christian. I don't know. But it's written by this girl who said that she was very regretful for waiting because on her wedding night she basically like shut down and it was a terrible experience because I think she had something called it wasn't vaginitis. Oh, it's not yeah, it was, it was something something close to the It's something she had something going on in her insides. <laughs> That basically like made it like shut down, like it was a wall. So she was trying for like weeks to become one with her husband and she wasn't able to do so and because of that she ended up writing this elaborate article about how you should not wait until marriage to have sex because you're gonna regret it so much and it's nothing like what you're gonna think and she basically like put the whole thing down she, she, it was really bad and she called herself a Christian and and that made me really sad because this was a representation of Christians waiting until marriage that was presented to the world it was such a popular article like it was shared all over Facebook thousands of times and this is what the world is seeing and this is what young people are reading and thinking oh man Look what happened to her on her wedding night. I don't want that to happen to me. That's gonna be so embarrassing and all this stuff. But Lee Sang, I'm here to tell you, it does not have to go down like that. And even if it did go down like that, that does not mean that it is the rule. That's an exception. You know, that was like a rare occurrence. I'm sure that doesn't happen to the majority of Christian women who wait. So I just want you to know that waiting is a beautiful thing. I have absolutely no regrets and i can't speak for rudy so i'll let him speak no, i don't have regrets yeah i think i've said that in a previous video yeah but i just want to make sure that you know i'm not speaking for you so we're not regretful about it it's a beautiful thing to do it is actually the way that god wants you to live your life and again i will always say this if you have slipped up you don't have to continue slipping you can make things right but enough of that that's not what the video is about <laughs> i'm here to tell you that i want your questions okay i want you to leave a comment telling me what you want me to talk about me and rudy okay you could either direct it towards me 
it can be as personal as you want it to be I mean I'm always gonna use my discretion you know you can ask whatever you want but if I feel like it's not appropriate for a video then I may or may not write you a personal email instead um, but I'm pretty sure that nothing you can ask me will be too much right because people aren't weird <laughs> almost they don't want you they want your answer but they don't want people to know and if, if that's the case, then you can always email us too. I'm the one who responds to the emails. It's mamalarje at gmail.com. But if you do have a question for Rudy, like you're a guy who has a question for Rudy because I feel weird about girls emailing Rudy about sex. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm well. weird. Okay? I'm very protective of my man. <laughs> But if you do have a question for Rudy, then you can just put that in the title saying this is for Rudy and you know, I'll let him read it. Um, but that's it guys. So I hope that you're able to have fun with this series. Please, please, please don't be shy. And I look forward to the questions. Are you excited, Ronan? Are you as excited as I am, Ronan? <laughs> Probably not, right? No. So you like my hair? <laughs> so you like my hair, Rudy? I think one of the one day I was trying to whip you in the face with my hair. I think it was yesterday. But I don't remember what happened, but no, I No, yesterday you hit me with your hair. No. Yeah, you did. On purpose? Last night, no. Last night I hit you with my hair? Yeah. When? Just last night. <laughs> On purpose? You don't remember you was like two and I was like <laughs> and you moved your hair. Wow, so I actually did yeah. do it. Okay. Yeah, so you, you thought it was fake. I thought what was what? fake. Oh, that your reaction? <laughs> Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. We will talk to you next time. Bye!